friends I hope you're all doing well so today I'm in the process of setting up a desk for my at-home art studio space and I wanted to take you along with me when I first moved here I didn't have a separate art desk I just had my computer desk with my desktop and then I had no room for painting or any kind of creative projects so I just moved some furniture around and I'm now using this as my art desk and let me know if any of you are like this too, but I like to keep my work desk very minimal and free of any clutter or distractions. But when it comes to my creative space, I want to just fill it with things that inspire me and make me really happy. So that's what I plan on doing with this desk today. Whenever I have a project like this, I like to make a mood board in Notion and then write down all of the things that I like about each of the images, find the similarities, and then try to incorporate those things into whatever I'm creating. So based on my mood board, I know I want to create a very warm, cozy, whimsical space that invites me to sit down with a cup of tea and spend some time working on my creative projects. So my plan for today is to first head into town and pick up some things I need for my desk, like a lamp, and then look for some accessories and cute things to decorate, and then come home, set everything up, and maybe make a couple of little DIYs. So if that sounds good to you, grab something to drink, get cozy cozy and let's get started. like to stop at the little free libraries in my town whenever I see them and today I want to check and see if they have any drawing books or any just kind of cute books to keep on my desk.
I just got back home and I found some really wonderful items that I'm going to use for my desk. The first is this table lamp from Target. This was only $12 and it may look like an ordinary lamp, but the base is hollow, so you can actually put things inside of the lamp to decorate. And I actually already have a lamp similar to this on my nightstand that I filled with moss, and I love how it turned out. So I'm going to do something similar, and I will show you how I do it and how I close the bottom so that if you ever want to move your lamp, the moss won't come spilling out of the bottom. So unfortunately, the little free libraries didn't have any books I was interested in, but that's completely okay because I have a lot of books already that I'm just going to set up on the desk. And the antique store in town was also really beautiful, but um, the prices were a little bit out of my price range. But fortunately, a few weeks ago, I actually got these off of Poshmark. These are called chamber stick holders. They're for holding candlesticks and they were very affordable. I think the set of two was about $20 for these vintage candlestick holders. So I love these and I'm going to use these for my desk setup too. World Market had a wonderful selection of items. I picked up this lantern that I can put a little tea light inside of and these really beautiful autumnal dried flowers and these LED flameless tea light candles that I can put on my windowsill without worrying that this 200 year old house is going to burn down. And whenever I'm doing any kind of home decor project, I like to shop my own home. And I looked at my food photography shelves and I found so many great things. These actually were made for me by my dad. He um, cut some pieces of wood into little coasters and stained them and I just think they're so lovely. I'm going to use them to put candles on. And I also had this moon phase wall hanging very similar to the one I have in my kitchen that I just wasn't using so I'm going to hang this on my window. So those are some of the things I got. It's starting to get a little bit late so I'm going to start setting up my desk.
I know 